All right, so we're going to go through our uh, elements form packet. So on each item, I need you to grade it plus, check, or minus. Plus means that it is done perfectly. It's done above and beyond all reasonable expectations of what I would think you would do. Check. It demonstrates understanding of the concept solidly. Okay? Minus. It needs work or it has not been done. All right? Okay. So we will start with the spheres here. All right? So what I'm looking for here is darkest area opposite the light source, a gradient, which means a gradual transition in the shading, and a highlight closest to the light source, okay? All right, next. This is gonna be the cubes uh, in intuitive perspective. I'm gonna number these as we go, actually. I'm gonna number this one, number one. Cubes with intuitive perspective. So all we're looking for here is that they use perspective. We don't want vanishing points. We just want intuitive perspective to make the cubes look 3D. So take the squares and make them look like cubes. Hey, we want to see them shaded. Please release all seniors to go to the gym for the panoramic uh, picture. All seniors go to the gym now for your panoramic photo. Thank you. Okay. So we want to see three-dimensional looking cubes. And we want to see uh, consistent shading, all right? So same sort of tones on each side. So maybe this will be a little darker. All right, next one. We want to make sure all of the cubes are using orthogonals that go to the vanishing point. So again, we can run through with the ruler and check all of those and that the shading is consistent. So if I think about any sides that would be hit by the light directly, like this one that are light, this one's light, this one's light, any ones that would not be hit by the sun, like this one or this one, this one are darker, all right? So that'll be number three. Number four, cubes in two-point perspective. So we want one set of orthogonals going to the left on each box, one set going to the right. And again, consistent shading. So the sides that are being hit by the light, we want to be light. The sides that are not on the bottom, we want to be dark. All right, number five. So we want to look for Three geometric forms that are using linear perspective, so they can be boxes, all right? One, two, three. And then we want to see three organic forms. One, two, three. And they want all the forms to be shaded. Does five... And this last one will be number six. We want to see a sculpture of anything. All right. We want to have four different views, front, top, bottom, side. All right. And the goal was to make them so that they, like, match each other, so that they are looking, right? The idea here with this exercise is that you are taking an imagined form and you are turning it around in your head. This is a really important skill to have in order to be able to do sculpture. So this is a really good exercise to build up your sculptural abilities. All right? Does anybody have any questions I should address before I turn this off? Okay.